Yesterday, on my stories, I made history one more time. You'll soon see lots of creators copying this strategy just because of how authentic and smart it actually is. And uh, because most of you are reaching out to me on Instagram asking for help with Instagram stories, you have no idea what to post, your stories don't convert, or nobody is watching your Instagram stories. And I see it as a big problem of the US market. Nobody on the US market knows how to do Instagram stories. So in this video, I will explain you my thought process behind the story sequence that I posted yesterday, uh, why I decided to do it um, this in this like unique and authentic way, and uh, I'll show you the results of it, right? So let's begin. First of all, let's talk about this type of content, a day in the life. The reason why this content is so powerful and uh, even posted his first ever day in the life four years ago four years. Since then, he posted 11 videos um, like that. And uh, many agency owners, coaches posted pretty much the same videos about their, um, their life. The reason why it works so well is because nobody buys your rich lifestyle anymore. People hate polished and uh, good looking and hyper edited content. They want to see a raw reality of being you. They want to see what you do, how you do it. They want to see why you you do it, and they want to see like how how does your day look like. That's what builds trust. That's what establishes authority and helps you connect with your followers. Once they see you completing the same exact tasks that they're facing, once you see you're fighting with challenges that they're fighting with, that's how you connect with an audience. Iman understands that. That's why he's posting videos like that pretty much like twice a year or even more than that, like four times a year. Um, and that's why a lot of people are copying him. Um, I didn't want to create a YouTube video on that, but I thought that Instagram stories is a cool way to show a day in life. First of all, I can just live this day and, uh, you know, post a couple of stories here and there um, about the stuff that I do. Also, I can turn it into a storytelling and uh, educate people, show them my life at the same time, and also turn it into a highlight funnel, which I'm going to talk about in a second. So here's exactly what I did. I posted how many? 11 stories. And uh, I basically showed my day from A to Z, from the moment I woke up and uh, um, had my first cup of coffee to basically the, the moment I crossed out all of the tasks on my checklist. So here's how I did it. First thing that you see is I decided to go with the, with the very authentic way of presenting these stories. This frame with rounded corners, this one goes viral all over Instagram and people are using it on Reels. So this is one life hack for you. If you see something works on Reels, you can definitely apply it to your stories. And I thought, why don't I do that? Nobody does that right? Uh, why don't I just become the first guy to use the same exact tactic, but with my stories instead of reels? And it worked just perfectly. You can see how authentic this looks like, right? When you scroll through the feed and all of your creators are, all of the people you follow are the same, and then you find a creator like that, you immediately want to stop scrolling. You just stop scrolling and you read what this guy has to say. So, then I called it a movie and uh, this is, uh, I also like turn it into a highlight just because uh, I was able to show my entire day and there were a couple of messaging pillars that I want to, you know, show to the world that I want to use as my marketing um, tools, which I'm going to show you in a second. So first of all, yeah, the hook and then I immediately go into one of the most important parts of this story sequence. The clients that I'm trying to attract with my with my content are hardworking individuals, hardworking guys, people who are willing to put in hours and hours of hard work. Um, that's why I did it on Sunday, and that's why I showed them my task list. I was like, guys, I'm just like you. I'm working on Sundays, and I have at least seven or eight, doesn't matter, like seven seven tasks for the day. I show them the progress because you also always want to show people the action. Something should be always going on, 
right? And also they can see that I'm a hard hardworking dude, that I'm just like them and I'm working on Sundays and that I also um, progressing through the day. So I show them the agenda and it works like a trailer for the entire day. Then obviously a couple of lifestyle pictures. Uh, this is uh, me in a barber shop, doesn't really matter, but I wanted this story sequence be about me and not only my business. So this is why I'm including this picture and also that one I will show you in a second and etc. So there is personal life mixed with a business life, with the business goals. And that's how you create the authentic content, the content that only you can create. Now, then I also educate people and I also show them, give them some value through all the, the sequence just so they keep watching because the only reason for people to watch your stories is because they know they can get something from it. So I give them an insight from the upcoming workshop. I was, uh, during this day, uh, one of the goals was to prepare the workshop. So I was writing a workshop in the coffee shop and I decided to share the insight, which I did um, right here. Again, just keep just to keep people engaged, to, to keep the um, ask to give value um, like ratio. Um, then just a couple of stories that you regularly post. So like it's me on a cell, uh, on a call, you know, with my setter working on the sniper DM script. But again, because of this like little frame right here and also the, the font that I chose for these stories, it looks cinematic. Looks like you're watching a movie, right? Picture after picture, it looks like you're watching a movie. And that's the exact thing that I tried to achieve. Um, and then I went crazy because I thought that, uh, okay, fuck it, it works. Like people resonated. You see the amount of likes, like people resonated with it. Let me just show them a little bit, um, like something more. And uh, I typically do these power naps, but I never talk about it on social media because it's like, um, you know, everyone is like, I'm a hardworking dude and stuff like that. But power nap is about, uh, you know, falling asleep for 15 minutes. But I was like, okay, cool. Like it helps me. When I'm getting less than seven hours uh, a day of night sleep, it helps me to stay ener energized throughout the day. So why don't I just show it? And this is literally the video of me um, waking up after a 15 minute power nap. And I kind of like explain it again, giving value and at the same time showing people my life. So remember what I said about Iman, you want to show them a raw reality of being you. And if you're taking naps then show it. And also I decided to not, um, I typically sleep on a Ikea elephant. So I did it as a, as a joke as well, just because this is the real reality. Yes, I'm a millionaire, but I still do that. And that's what people will resonate with. Now, then I also showed my, um, another important messaging pillar for me is that I always educate myself. I always develop different skills. And right now I'm working on public, public speaking and storytelling. Nobody knows that because this is not related. Like this is not connected with my business goals. I don't talk about it much, but still I do it. So a day in life is the best way for you to show your habits, to show um, the stuff that you're working on right now. And uh, that's what I did. 30 minutes of self development, another video of me practicing public speaking and kind of like a quick tip on how I do it, right? So for, um, I got a few people reaching out and answering to this story saying stuff like, I have to try it. Like, dude, I appreciate it. That was amazing. I'm going to, I'm going to try it today and stuff like that. So through the storytelling about my day, I also helped a couple of people to realize what they need to do in their lives. And this is how you make, um, you just you have impact on people's lives even before they buy something from you. Then also a couple of lifestyle photos. Uh, I went to a cigar shop and uh, and then had an amazing uh, dinner. So I included that just because it's a, again a raw reality. And then when I was back, this is another important messaging pillar. I wanted to show people that to my ideal clients that I'm just like them. So you remember what I said? I'm targeting and I'm working with uh, hardworking people, people who don't really have weekends, who are trying to do their best. So that's why I posted the, um, the time 10 p.m. And uh, after an amazing dinner on Sunday at 10 p.m., I was back at my studio. I was um, ready to crush all other tasks that were on my 
task list, right? And then I finish the day showing that all tasks are complete and saying that you're not finished until you're done. So that was cool. That was great. And I got an amazing feedback. People were reaching out, people were curious. And I believe that, I mean, we can't really measure trust, but just because all other big dogs are posting days in life should mean something. This content, this type of content builds a significant amount of trust. It helps you, helps your audience relate to you and connect with your content. So if you missed it, you can go and check it out uh, in this movie highlight. And uh, if you run any kind of business, agency, coaching, service-based businesses, start posting days in the life. Especially if you're selling something to your younger self. I'm running my coaching program right now and I help other agency owners and coaches scale with, uh, with Instagram. And uh, the reason why I'm creating this content, the reason why I'm shooting these days in life, because I needed someone on my way to, you know, making 30, 50 K months. I needed something to show me what the raw reality of making that much money looks like. I wanted someone there was not. So I'm creating it for my younger self. I'm creating it for people who are um, trying to do something with their social media. And by the way, if that's you, if you want to grow predictably with stability, um, running ads on Instagram, growing your personal brand, and then closing high ticket deals, then definitely that, uh, this thing is for you. Down below, you'll find my link. Go book a call with me and uh, I'm going to speak to you privately and uh, we're going to figure out the best strategy for your Instagram as well. Um, if that's the case, then check out the first link in the description. If you're here for free content, then just enjoy that. Um, give this video a like, follow me for more helpful tips and uh, I'll see you in the next one.